got a bunch of my friends together. We're talking about what's happening on the internet again. Uh, let's bring up the photo, Michael. Let's have a look. I love this photo. So this is just Olivia Wilde sitting there talking to Anderson Cooper on some Bravo TV show. She's wearing a skirt that says feminist, and she's wearing this red, you know, head wrappy thing. And uh, I would say that there's nothing really objectionable about the photo whatsoever. But, uh, well, let's just see what the commentary was on the Instagram where she posted it. Katie, how about if you start us off? Hashtag feminism is cancer. Feminism is cancer. <laughs> That's a way to get the ball rolling. Uh, yep. That person is not a doctor. <laughs> <laughs> or are they? <laughs> Go ahead, Josh. My wife asked me, who was the one person I cheat on her with? I said, you, dot, 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 dot. She said, okay. How do we make this happen? Hmm. Oh. Like that was the one thing holding them back. <laughs> <laughs> you look like shit. <laughs> <laughs> Oh. Don't you care Subtle. about your image? That skirt is garbage. <laughs> <laughs> Saw you this morning. You are an investor in Runa. Wish you much success. Please make sure the natives get more than just enough to sustain themselves. <laughs> I'm not exactly sure. No, it was mean, just, she investor in Runa, success. Make sure the natives get enough, more than enough to sustain themselves. And then that's followed up with like a normal, you're the coolest, love. Crystal, what do you got? Uh, so the next one looks like, um, I need to watch this. Hashtag, hashtag girl crush, hashtag what a combo. Is that like Ooh. Anderson Cooper and her? Like, wow, they're together. Wow. Well, no. <laughs> um, then you've got like lovely, that, that skirt though. <laughs> that. A couple, you're so beautiful, beautiful girl. She looks so cutie. I'm having that skirt on my wish list. Next one, skirt! Skirt! <laughs> it's like duck. Oh, wait, wait, wait. The next one, shockingly, you look amazing, by the way. Nice skirt. Holy SJW, Batman. Now, I have to point out, this is spelled W-H-O-L-L-Y. Like, holy SJW. We're a social justice warrior in its entirety. Now, the one that comes after that, though, is your look in this picture reminds me of Robin Hood. Dressed as a gypsy in the old cartoon. Heart followed up with mega, which I'm sure is make America great again. Make America great again. <laughs> I have the most serious girl crush on you ever. Your political views and the way you continue to rock as an activist for women's rights, all while raising a family with a man who supports you in everything you do is nothing short of badass. Wow. If I could wake up tomorrow and have half of the pussy power... <laughs> That you have, I would be the happiest girl in the world. You are changing the world in a fearless way. If this small town Tennessee girl could have one dinner with you in hopes of soaking in some of your perfection, it would literally make my life. Whole life. <laughs> you are the epitome of everything I long to be, and all I want to be is your best friend and drink beer with you, and then maybe I could have the guts to get out there and. Hashtag stay nasty, just like you. <laughs> Keep on keeping on, and you just know that this girl marvels at you. Yeah, we get it. As do so <laughs> the others. Didn't, didn't have to say that part. We got it. <laughs> so what, what do you say? Want to have that beer sometime and teach me the ways of the feminist master? Oh, hashtag forever muse. Hashtag my hero is better than yours. Hashtag <laughs> please comment back. <laughs> okay, so is pussy power a chauvinistic term? Like, why does the power have to come from... I don't know, man. Why can't you just That's be like, like, guys good being on like you? Dick, I just work like here, dick man. Dick power. Yeah, like, like, like dick <laughs> power. I'm in. Hashtag penis power. <laughs> like, yeah. Let, let's not be like... This was not subtle, okay? <laughs> this was not like something that you're going to write a thesis paper about when you go back to school someday. <laughs> I like how you know I didn't graduate after <laughs> having met me two hours ago. That's pretty on point. <laughs> like, yes, if I, if I had to do one thing, it'd be about the pussy power over there <laughs> with the feminist skirt and the weird fortune teller outfit that she wore one day on Bravo. Katie, what do you got? She looked like Robin Hood from the old cartoon. Oh, yeah, from not the old cartoon. The new cartoon. But the gypsy <laughs> version. What a queen. K-W-E-E-N. Holes with a Z. So that means it's serious. Oh, boy. <laughs> we got a, you look gorgeous, hun. 
XXX, which I mean, is X hugs or kisses? I think kisses. Because if you put if you put three kisses together, it looks like or the like comments triple X. way different. Yeah. <laughs> you look gorgeous on triple X. <laughs> you know. Wild Tide is so big, I shot it because it has a red stripe on it. I forgot the words. <laughs> Wait. What? It's all caps, and it literally says, Wild's head is so big, I shot it. <laughs> I don't know what that means, but for the record, the volume level was based on the, the punctuation. <laughs> like, if I was screaming, it was caps locks. If I wasn't, it was regular. Can I get if the I link to that skirt? <laughs> Wait, is it over $30? <laughs> you are perfect! <laughs> Blacking out isn't funny or cool. Grow up! I love you! S E X Y. <laughs> that does it for our dramatic reading of today's Instagram photo. Michael, let's bring up our next attraction. Oh, this is great. So, this is Katie Couric, who I would think would be, you know, one of those sort of sober personalities that people, you know, tend to say, you know, relevant. You know, the smartest thing that they can muster. Katie says, I co-hosted this week's Beautiful Stories from Anonymous People podcast with Chris Gethard. Yeah, I did not read that before we did this. Anyway, um, we spoke to a caller on the cusp of a major life change. For more on this topic, check out hashtag gender revolution, the documentary I made with National Geographic TV. It's on iTunes, Amazon, and on demand. Um, Josh, I'm going to ask you, can you play the role of this next uh, commenter? I sure can't, Eric. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, Katie. <laughs> New York City firefighter. You're beautiful. Wrong spelling of your. Yes, I'm Manscaped. <laughs> Five foot ten, 185, green eyes, brown hair. Friend me. Sup. We need to call attention to the fact that that post has one frowny face crying guaranteed it was that comment for sure had to be only person that could have made that wow what do you think yeah i would definitely friend him I mean, <laughs> Katie, you know, he you, manscapes totally in he's, yeah. a, he's a new york city firefighter five Wait, feet God. 10 inches 185 green eyes brown hair friend him support. i don't have to do anything <laughs> All right, everybody. Uh, how about if you uh, go around and tell us what you're working on and uh, where people can find you? Katie? Hi. I'm Katie Dutters, and you can usually find me at Scarehouse. Um, I'm on Twitter as at KDutters. Instagram is Kate Marie PGH, and you can follow me all in the world of Scarehouse. And I'm also, I appear on Tuesdays on this wonderful show called Awesome Cast here out in Beachview at the beautiful Sorgatron Media Studios. Very nice. I'm Eric Williams. You can find me at Comical Edubs on Twitter. And I run a monthly mic at the Brookline Teen Outreach Center in Brookline, just off the corner of the Brookline Boulevard and Pioneer. 8 o'clock, first Wednesday of the month. Sign up at 7.30. Hi, I'm Crystal Grandy, and you can find me on Instagram at, at Crystal Grandy with a little underscore. Um, I am a local um, and national producer for TV, reality, and commercials. So check out all my work coming up. I'm Josh Corcoran. I am one of the creators of Spare Change TV. My friends and I play music for different charities. You can check it out at sparechange.tv. There we go. Wait, who are you? Wait, who are you, sir? Yeah. Who, who are you? Who, what? Who am I? Yeah. The S N double O P. No. Um. <laughs> American Seth Rogen. <laughs> American Seth Rogen. Yeah, no. he's Canadian. <laughs> well. I mean, I didn't realize, like, how tightly bigoted you were. <laughs> You're like, can't you tell when he says about, it's not the same as when you say about. <laughs> you killed Eric, you bastard. We're <laughs> <laughs> like, yeah, you know what? That guy definitely did not pick a side in the Civil War. <laughs> I look like I'm having a stroke. Oh, my God. <laughs> That's how you know it's working. Thanks for tuning in, everybody.